Hello, Mavis. Hi. So, what's up? Could you move your knees a little bit? That's it. I don't want to sit on your bad leg. Yeah. Nonny asks, what's up with you? I know, I don't feel very good. Is it your stomach? Is it your head? Is it your oh, back? Stomach. Stomach. Yeah. Mm. That, uh, as you say, I've got to pop off soon, so I'm going to find something wrong with me. Yeah, well... I mean, uh, none of us are a hundred percent. No. I've ordered a lunch for you. Oh, well, that's nice. They're going to bring you up a tray of their choice, basically. Uh, they started asking me what you wanted, and I said, "Well, I'm pretty sure that Mavis will pretty much eat whatever you bring her, <laughs> or not eat, depending on how she feels." But I think I spoke to uh, Juanita, maybe the girl downstairs. Juanita. Or maybe not. Maybe I've got the names mixed up. I know that there's two Nicoles and there's a couple of Juanitas in your life. Mm. Heavens, yeah, heavens above. So I'm going to give you um, your tea and your pills. Okay. And um, did you want me to make a little bowl of cereal for you like normal? Or, or yes, that would be good. You might have to sit yourself up a little bit to eat it. Yes, I'm feeling kind of what to hear. You're feeling a little full? Yes, and maybe I will follow the cereal. Just the tea and the pills, then? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Good for you. Good for you. Well, you know, I'm going to go off and be pretty busy today, but I think Nornie's going to be at home most of the day. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I was telling you that I was going to run for 10 miles yeah. yesterday. It went very well. I chose a pretty flat place to run. I ran along the uh, Lockside Trail and the Galloping Goose. Oh, yeah. It's a cycle path, so it's flat. Yeah. And I ran out for five m miles, and then I turned around and came back the oh. same way. Oh. What's that around your neck? That's my phone. Your phone, yeah. I keep it in a, in a little pouch. Yeah. Cool. All right, so I'm going to sort out um, your, your breakfast and stuff. And I'll just don't let me forget it, all right? I just don't want to drop it in the sink, if you know what I mean. Did you listen to the news already on the radio? No, I didn't. No? I couldn't seem to find it. What? Yeah. One of those it doesn't do anything unless you press that, and then a whole lot of things come up. Then it changes numbers. Oh, yeah. Now, that's more to do with settings. Yeah. But still, if it changes numbers, it's very annoying. You think it's 7.30 and it's 8.30 or whatever. Oh, yeah. The judge said to me, uh, you know, you made the right Weather service says temperatures in Phoenix on Sunday and Monday will be close to 120 degrees. In Los Angeles, yeah. air quality regulators are allowing the city's yeah. largest utility to burn cold. diesel fuel at yeah. three of its power plants. I'm just going to put the uh, T on. Right. to avoid okay. potential power outages. More than a dozen power plants in the region rely on natural gas to generate electricity. But a blown-out gas well at the Aliso Canyon storage field shut down the facility. So utility officials say switching to diesel can fill the gap. But the head of Consumer Watchdog says Southern California has three other natural gas reserves, more than enough to keep the air conditioners running. A well-known medical group says it's no longer accepting money from the European Union and its member countries. Lisa Schlein reports. Doctors Without Borders is protesting an EU-Turkey agreement that prevents refugees from leaving Turkey and smugglers' boats over the Aegean Sea into Greece. It believes this essentially cuts off the ability of people fleeing war and persecution from seeking asylum in Europe. I'm Dave Mattingly, NPR News in Washington. In about 10 minutes, you'll get a Northwest News update here on Northwest Public Radio. Last year, Lyle Zimmerman was attacked in London by a man with a bread knife. That guy with his violent state of mind, if he had access to firearms... You know what? I think I've tuned into the American radio station. Okay. I think I've tuned into an American radio station. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
early enough in the morning and listening to our show, you'll hear Khalil reading the marine weather forecast a few minutes before 6 o'clock every morning. And a few times this week, the marine weather has included a term we don't hear very often, water spouts. What is a water spout? Well, according to Wikipedia, it's an intense columnar vortex, usually appearing as a funnel-shaped cloud that occurs over a body, body of water. And to find out more about water spouts, I visited you, Vic, and met Edward Weed, the you know Research your, Associate um, School of Earth and Ocean Sciences, who showed me a no, water spout there. You had some water glasses, but can't find them anymore. Maybe they took them away where they did the housekeeping. Typical. 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 And, and what is a water sponge? Because I, I, I suspect I mean, a lot of people will know about sailors, but others won't. Well, a water sponge looks a lot like a tornado, and it's basically, in many ways, it's the same idea. It's a, it's a spinning column of air that's uh, being being stretched vertically. So as the, so you imagine you, everyone's seen a little spinning swirl of uh, leaves or dust on the ground. Uh, if you imagine that that's happening on a larger scale, but then it's also happening with rising warm air, then the spinning mass of air gets stretched vertically, and it's like a figure scale. I'll bring you some, I'll bring you some water, water in a minute. It's spinning faster and faster and faster. So we say it's, uh, it's about conservation of energy. I don't have to do all that, do I? In physics speak. No, this has all been done. This property, this, the spinning has to stay the same. Yeah. So if you, if you move the mass closer to the center of the spin, it spins faster, like a figure skater, or like the uh, merry-go-round that we had when we were kids, which isn't so common anymore. When you were outside at the edge, it was slow, but if you moved to the center, it would speed up. And I'll turn it on. So in the bottom, okay, so let me describe it. It's, it's, a, it's a box with clear plastic sides. It's tall, about one and a half meters tall, and 50, me 50 centimeters uh, wide. And uh, at the bottom, there is a little vessel with water, and inside there is a little device to make mist, uh, cloud droplets. Creaminess, <laughs> many things like the I try and uh, stay away from that. Well, you know, and that's a good point. A lot of times, pasta salads are really heavy with the mayonnaise, but this one, we've gone in a much healthier direction. What we're using is we're using the creamed up avocados to get all that great creamy, rich flavor and texture. All right, well, it sounds like we should go check out these salads at 50 Foods. Yeah, maybe get a picnic. Can we get a picnic? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Not all gasoline is created equal. This is why Co-op is proud to offer a gasoline that optimizes your fuel economy, protects your engine, improves your well, vehicle's performance, and reduces carbon emissions with our top-tier certified gasoline. You can be confident that Co-op's gasoline meets leading automakers' recommendations, providing your engine with a premium level of protection. All grades of Co-op gasoline are top-tier certified at all Co-op mm -hmm. locations. So fuel up at your local Co-op today. Co-op top-tier gasoline, engineered to move you. Good morning. Welcome to Tim Hortons. Can I take your order? Morning, ma'am. Can you tell me what's in I have trouble with your radio there. I, I don't know how to turn it off. Let me see if I've got my reading glasses here. <coughs> well, it's a very, very old one. It's just... <laughs> 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 it is a very old one. Uh, okay, well, we'll turn the volume off again. Just so I can see if I can turn it off. Well, the, this is the... Uh, That's the volume. Yes, yeah, so well, if you turn the volume to the right down, then it's off. When I say I don't feel good, I'm not expecting you people to run around and look after me. I'm just meaning that I'm not going to get up and run around and look after anybody else. Well, no, we're not expecting you to look after us, Mavis. It's just... Well, I certainly don't expect you to look after me, but of course you do. Well, you know, we have to try and make sure that at least you get some food and some uh, your regular medication. Then. Yeah. Wash down the last bit from your mouth there. That's what? You probably still have a pill in your mouth. Yeah, I have. Yeah, we'll wash it down <laughs> with a bit more water and I'll bring you your tea. Okay. okay. And we'll leave the Americans to with no volume because they're starting to sell us stuff. Tim Hortons was on there just now. I didn't think they had ads on the... Well... I didn't think they had ads on NPR. 
Maybe I should try and find the CBC for CBC you. CBC shit is always just about there. Alright. The right kind of uplift conditions to pull this swirling column of air up. Yeah, and, and, and uh, the strike us is very common. We're not it's used to seeing the marine weather forecast that that is them. this week. What might be behind okay. that? But when you have, in, in spring especially, you have... This has your um, Tylenol for later if you need it. You don't have to take it now, okay? I'll just give you some more water. And if that is poised in just the right way, then adding the energy from the sun can, can make like a feedback loop that increases this vertical motion. And the lower atmosphere, the upper atmosphere is... You're going to learn all about the weather system now. Smooth, yeah. We might, might be called laminar flow. Mm -hmm. But and your tea is next. Air sort of gets My key, what? I'm going to give you your tea now. It ends up having a lot of turbulence. Oh, I thought you said the key. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> your key, I don't know if it showed up yet. Turbulent okay. swirling motions to no. vertical motion, you can get a, a, a swirling eddy in the atmosphere that gets stretched up and makes the water spout or dust up. So we have to see the same thing. <laughs> you were just starting to fall, and then when I came back, Uh, when I came back, your mom and I both were going through a divorce, and I didn't have anywhere to live anymore. That could be it, but who knows what they're talking about now. <laughs> anyway, Mavis, you've got your tea. Yep, thank you. And they'll be bringing up a tray for your lunch. Right? Okay, thank you very much. Oh, well, I love you. You'd be good, all right. Well, in a way, I've got sort of like a day off today, because normally I'd have to get you dressed and help you get downstairs for breakfast. Oh, well, there's your tea, all right? I've got my phone, so everything's good. I will see you. And if you need anything, call Noni, all right? Okay. Bye-bye.